Hi, so I'm going to demonstrate here uh, the four different ways you can host IS applications. So the most common way is with host headers, uh, hosting multiple websites on the same server. Uh, the second way is child applications, which doesn't give you a unique domain name, uh, but allows you to run uh, multiple IS applications under the same server. Uh, next is if you have multiple IP addresses on the same server and then the next is uh, just different port numbers so let me get started here and show you examples so if you notice here I have Car Hobby website and Contessa website and they both run on the same uh, IP address so let me bring that up here and you'll see Car Hobby is one website and if I bring this up here uh, this is the domain name for this is www.carhobby.com and this is a uh, wpcontesso.com and if you look at my host file here I have these both mapped to the same IP address now um, in order to create multiple websites on the same IP address when you're creating the website you have to use something called host headers so here uh, the host name you would put in uh, your domain name and what happens is when the web browser makes a request here it passes it the uh, domain name that it's looking for and your web server will filter it based on that domain name that you enter here um, so let me show you that in these advanced settings here and actually it's it's in the bindings so let me do that so the editing view and the actual the editing view and the adding view is different so here's my host header you see and I actually assigned this a very specific IP address uh, so you'll see here I assigned this website the host header of wpcontesto.com and for this website I assigned it this host header so this is the most common way is to use host headers uh, the second most common way uh, is actually to do def uh, child applications so you'll see here this is my main website and actually all three of these run under the same IP address uh, 10.33.55.80 and if you notice if I go to this website it just brings up this generic page uh, which I have assigned to this default website um, so if I wanted to create a child application here you'll notice I do have the cooking website here and the way I set that up is to add application which I added underneath here but this will not have a unique domain name so for example if I type in the cooking website so this is more or less a, an, a sort of like a folder if you could think of it as a folder uh, except it has its own variables and things like that um, so th this is this is uh, the website for the cooking website that is a child application of the main application um, now I, I could put you know hundreds of these child applications uh, under default website so that is the second way and the third way is if you have multiple IP addresses so I have this is a VM here and I have multiple network adapters and I've put different IP addresses in the uh, for, for each adapter obviously so if I add website here you'll notice I'm given a choice which IP address this website will respond to so for example um, I set up this hockey website to have a different IP address and you'll notice this responds to the IP address 10.3355.84 while my car hobby website will respond to 
1033.55.80 and all of these websites are on the same server and you'll notice in my host file I have this pointing to www.hockey.com so if I bring this up you'll notice this brings up this site whereas the car hobby brings up this site and they're on different IP addresses but on the same web server and so if you remember before I have these two websites car hobby and Contesso main on the same IP address that's different than this IP address so for each one of these IP addresses I, I could put as many uh, web applications allowable by uh, limited only by the resources that I have on the uh, web server you know resources as a memory disk space uh, you know traffic stuff like that so um, so that's the third way is actually to um, have these different IP addresses but that's probably not the most common the most common is the uh, host headers the fourth and least common is probably to use port numbers so you'll notice if I bring up this website normally um, so you, you see there's a colon 81 here so normally um, websites run on port 80 or 443 which is SSL and the this particular website runs on port 81 and that's because it uses the same IP address as the other one so I, I can use port 81, port 82, 83, 84 for different websites so that's the fourth way so this this is this really concludes the uh, different types of ways to uh, put different websites onto the same server now um, most people will just stick with one way and use the host headers uh, there, there really is no reason not to use the host headers and to mix you know different ways of doing it um, so and if it wasn't clear I did men mean to say that you can host as many websites under each method or mix and match methods and host uh, multiple websites underneath uh, so for example I can host 25 websites with host headers uh, 25 websites uh, with um, you know uh, child applications and you know 25 websites with uh, port numbers and 25 red websites with different IP addresses if I have those many IP addresses on the same server mix and match them so you notice uh, cons on the consolidated view here you'll see all the different ways you know here is the IP address on the default port 80 here's is a different IP address on port 80 here's another IP address on 81 so um, so really that's the four ways you can host IS applications on the same server and uh, I hope this clears you know some of the questions you might have and uh, thank you for watching